So check it out. This is the Neumann MT48 audio interface. And in this video, I'll tell you why it's so special and the surprising things I discovered while using it in the last few weeks, including the touchscreen workflow that is a real game changer. So why is the MT48 so important? Two reasons. First, Neumann partnered with a company called Merging Technologies to build this. Now, I hadn't heard about Merging Technologies until I interviewed Warren Hewitt and asked him what his dream audio interface was, and he named Merging Technologies. And when I got the MT48, I understood why. The sound quality of this interface is top notch. Most notably, the high quality converters which Merging Technologies is known for. More about that later. Now, you've probably heard people say your recording is only as good as the weakest link in your chain. So Neumann has now ensured that there's no weak link by releasing an interface that, as they put it, matches the quality of their other gear. Everyone knows this mic, every pro studio has it. Yeah, so that brings us to the second reason the MT48 is so important. It completes the Neumann Studio chain. As far as I know, Neumann is the only pro audio company that has products from start to finish for your recording studio. Microphones, we all know Neumann for their mics. They've had studio monitors for a while now, and more recently, headphones and preamps. The only device that was missing until now was the audio interface. So here it is, and now they have everything end to end, and yeah, I think the MT48 lives up to the Neumann reputation. Neumann has a reputation, a good one, and I think it was a really good move for them to introduce a premium interface like this. So let's put it to the test right away. Now, Neumann is sponsoring this video, so this is not really a review, but I'm going to add my opinions anyway. So here are a couple recordings I did with the MT48. We were as one. And it seemed everlasting That you would always be mine Now you wanna be free So I'm letting you fly Cause I know in my heart, babe Oh, love will never die We were as one For a moment in time and it seemed everlasting That you would always be mine Now you wanna be free So I'm letting you fly Cause I know in my heart, babe Oh, love will never die now, don't get me wrong, budget interfaces these days sound pretty good, and for home production, they may be good enough for you. But the MT48 definitely takes things up a bunch of notches. I'll share some more audio examples later in the video, and this cool touchscreen and the onboard effects as well. But first, here's what makes this interface sound so good. And by the way, I've put together an all Neumann studio right here. If you'd like me to do a video about this setup, let me know in the comments. I'll put every Everything you see in this video in the description and the first comment below. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I've got lots of videos about music production and the latest gear on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, I'll be sure to make it worth your while. There are two things that impact the sound of an interface the most, the preamps and the converters. The preamps is an easy one, that's the thing that takes your mic level signal and boosts it to a line level signal that the interface can then pass on to your computer when you record your vocal vocals or guitar. The preamps on the MT48 are like, wow. They've got 78 decibels of gain, so you can plug in pretty much any kind of mic, including ribbon mics, and it's going to give you a strong signal. Now, once the preamp captures the mic's audio, it needs to convert that into digital language that your computer can understand. And that's done by the AD converter. The converters they've put into this interface exceed what other interfaces can do. I'll give you some numbers, but I'll also explain what they mean. The dynamic range for this interface is 136 decibels, which means this can actually capture everything this microphone can put out, even very loud sounds. And even the TLM-103 microphone with its 131 decibels of dynamic range. Most other interfaces, even high-end interfaces, will give you somewhere between around 115 and 123 decibels at the high end. 
This one, 136, which means your fear of clipping is pretty much gone. And well, it sounds great. So yeah, it's starting to make sense why they would come out with an interface like this, something that doesn't compromise their own mic's capabilities. By the way, you can of course use this with any other mic, dynamic condenser. Okay, so that's the sound going in. What about the output? Well, there was something I was a bit skeptical about. They say that the headphone amps in the MT-48 can power even extremely high impedance headphones. And I've had mixed results with audio interfaces that have that sort of claim. So I've reviewed tons of headphones and one thing I've discovered is even if an audio interface can power high impedance headphones, they don't always sound great. There's usually some kind of uncomfortable distortion that they introduce, but the MT-48 didn't have that distortion. Headphones are clear and as loud as I want them to be. I've actually been using a headphone app because I've been so frustrated with the headphone sound quality, and I think I may not need it anymore. We'll see. Depending on the impedance of your headphones, you can select either a plus eight dBU or plus 16 dBU, and here's where the interface goes the extra mile. You can adjust the headphone crossfeed, which means your left ear will hear a bit of the right output and vice versa, simulating the natural listening environment that studio monitors give you. Okay, so what else surprised me? Well, it's a little thing actually. When I first powered this on, I was a bit overwhelmed. There's a lot on the screen, so I thought I'd be tapping around a lot to do everyday stuff, but not really. The workflow is fairly intuitive and the most important stuff is super clear. Let me show you. The four buttons at the bottom control two speaker outputs and two headphone outputs. Depending on which one is active, you can adjust volume or mute it. Just having a mute button for all four of these outputs is so useful. And each has its own mix, so you can customize what's being outputted on each. So this big knob can control a lot more, of course. When you touch a control on the screen, you use this knob to change it. Right here, I'm changing the mic preamp gain. You can also use it to adjust EQ, stuff like that. So yeah, this interface has DSP built in, meaning you've got processing, EQ, gate, a compressor, limiter, and you can use it for monitoring or recording. And check it out, you can actually record dry and wet signals simultaneously using separate driver channels. That's for someone who's afraid of commitment. For each channel input, you can select preamp, set gain, 48V, pad, dim, low cut, lots of options, and you've got the meter as well. You can also add EQ and dynamics. Let's try that. Switch EQ on and adjust the curve on the screen. Turn on dynamics, set a threshold, ratio, attack, release. It's all here. Let's hear what this sounds like. And it seemed everlasting that you would always be mine. And it seemed everlasting that you would always be mine. When you have any of this processing active, you'll see these little colored dots on the channel so you know you're processing the signal. Oh, also you've got reverb on board as well. That's just for monitoring. And you have full control of what that sounds like. Sometimes a singer may benefit from hearing some reverb in their headphones while recording. A note about the touchscreen. It's pretty responsive with just a little short delay when turning some features on or off tapping, dragging, all pretty precise. One thing to keep in mind is that because of the DSP chips inside, they needed to have fans in it to keep it cool. I've noticed the interface getting warm for sure, but I can't ever hear the fans, like not at all. By the way, you also have the option of managing the touchscreen functions on your computer screen if you prefer that, but I've been fine with the onboard touchscreen. Oh yeah, so I updated the startup screen. You can put your studio logo here or your pet's picture. This is part of the latest firmware update they just pushed out. They added other stuff recently like LED brightness adjustment and mixer feature updates. All right, so I've gotten this far in the video without even giving you a tour around the interface, inputs, outputs, and stuff like that. So up front, you've got two headphone outputs. Great when you have another person recording in your studio. And check it out, you've got a talk back button too. You can talk to your artist with the built-in mic and they'll hear you in their headphones. Also up front, you have two instrument slash line inputs. On the back, you have two mic slash line inputs. 
your main outs to your monitors, and there are two line outs as well. To the left of that, you have ins and outs for MIDI or GPIO. It's got ADAT optical ins and outs and a data jack too. So you can expand this interface, add lots more inputs if you want to. There are two USB-C sockets, one for power and the other that goes to your computer. You've got a power button and a Kensington lock as well. On top, I showed you the monitor and headphone selector buttons, the mute button and talkback button. The diamond button here is your home button that will take you to the default home page on the screen at any time. And because this interface goes above and beyond in every single way, there's something even on the bottom, a microphone stand connector. So you can put this on a mic stand and have it anywhere, any height, any angle you want. The build quality of the MT48 is excellent. The build reflects the price for sure. This is an all metal body. The large knob has a very satisfying smoothness to it. The buttons have a soft, smooth feel, no clicks. It's all totally silent. This interface is super compact and would be really easy to travel with. It's also just a little over two pounds. So yeah, this is a very special interface and everyone seems to be talking about it. But here's a secret. When I first researched it, I was honestly overwhelmed. This does so much and I was like, how am I going to convey all this stuff to you? There's certainly a lot to talk about, but it turned out to be a very easy to learn workflow. And I think this is one of those devices you're going to see on my desk a lot in the future. If you're interested in checking out the Neumann MT48, I'll add links to it below the video. And hey, if you want to hear how this mic sounds compared to the very best in the industry, you can watch the video right here. Make the music you love. I'll see you in the next video.